Hi, I'm Demi. And I'm Mel. And we are the, the Mel, Mel and Demi, Demi Show. Show. Today we meet with the director of Illuminate Electrical to tell us the tips and tricks on electrical for your household and your business. Plus, tradie reliability. Can you trust your tradie? Do you know what, Demi? Tradesmen have a good and a bad name. Uh, we need them, really. But are they reliable? Do they take the big jobs over the small jobs? Are you really getting ripped off and you don't know about it? That's what I think anyway. I know. Well, we're in luck today because we have Daniel here joining us. Welcome, Daniel. Thanks Thank you for, very much. Thanks for joining us today. So tell us, Dan, tell us a little bit about your business. So I started back in 2005, 2006. Um, just thought, give it a go, try to do it myself. Um, eventually, you know, built my business up. Yep got to a point where I had to start putting apprentices on and then, you know, gradually grew bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. And yeah, here did we you, are today. Did you go into this trade straight from high school? Yeah, so it's kind of uh -huh. funny. I sort of fell into this trade. It was back in year 10, actually. I had no direction on where I was going. And my mate just ended up saying to me, oh, like, come with me. We're going to TAFE. We're doing a TVET course, which was back in my day. was like a, a course used to go one day a week to TAFE to do a, um, a trade. Yeah. Started that and just never stopped. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's cool. It. It's good to have those open opportunities. And I think if you've got friends to support you as well and give you some sort of yeah direction into yeah. doing something yeah. and look where you are now with a really successful business. And how many people work for you? I've got four full-time staff and then yeah. subcontractors after that. Oh, awesome. awesome. So what would be the, what sorts of requests are the most common that you get from people? In my line of work, it's, I do a lot of domestic sort of work and new houses. So it's pretty much from, you know, planning, lighting, power, getting power actually connected to the house. Um, we haven't had really many weird requests in yeah. a way, but, <laughs> um, you know, we do take the time and effort to plan with the clients yeah. and you know, give them exactly what they want for the price they want it for. Yeah, that's great. Has there been a really interesting experience when you've been with a client? You've turned up to their house and something really weird's just happened or strange. Look. <laughs> Someone came and only wearing an apron. No, <laughs> nothing like that, but we have found some interesting um stuff up in the roofs and stuff like that. Is it PG? We have no, to say? A little bit, a little bit bigger than PG. <laughs> um, We're family friendly. Yeah. But we've, um, you know, most of my client base that I've got, are, you know, they're successful people themselves. Yeah. So they're, you know, quite nice and quite good to work for. So Most things are respectful in the house. Yeah. Exactly right. Just don't go upstairs. <laughs> in the room. That's awesome. What does tradie reliability mean to you? Everything. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> like, if my clients can trust us 100%, yeah. then mm -hmm. they've got no problems with us coming to the house, leaving the house open to us so they can yeah. go to work, yeah. so then we can get the job done while they're at work, and then they come home to a clean, tidy, you know, house that's been completed in the most professional way. And that's yeah. a huge thing, letting someone, trusting someone enough to be yeah. in your home when you're not home, that's huge. <laughs> is, that a, is that a big thing? Would you say it's 50-50 that people allow you into their house but and no one there, or they like to be present? Well, first time going to someone's house i guess you know if it's if i have never had a relationship with them prior mm -hmm. it's you know they, they always want to be around and i, I like them to be around because mm. then they get to know us yeah. yeah then they don't have that you know opinion on us that they, you know, they don't care if they leave us at their yeah. house by themselves mm. like you know for us to be at their house by ourselves mm. and um you know they feel comfortable we feel comfortable we know what we need to do and you know they get us keep coming back to their house because they trust us. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's also having good workers. You know that you can also leave them at a location and they will clean up and they'll make sure they get the job yeah. done. And there's, you know, there's whole speculation about, you know, electricians, they don't clean up after themselves. Yeah. The messy, look, we are a messy trade, but mm. we, you know, we have to be because, you know, we're cutting into jip rock yeah. and we're, mm -hmm. you know, drilling into timbers and all that sort of stuff. But, yeah. you know, we, we try to take out all our measures like putting drop sheets down and, yeah. Yeah. you know, vacuuming, wiping down benches. You know, we try to leave the houses or, or wherever we are cleaner than we first came here or, uh, you know, 
to the most presentable that we can get it. And I think that's the main thing. It's that, yes, it might get a little bit messy when you're working, but as long as you leave your workspace really tidy, that's the main thing. On that note, do you take equipment with you like a vacuum cleaner? Do they know that you have got the necessary equipment to tidy up after? Or do you um, we, use... We've got, in our vans, we've always got, you know, cleaning stuff. So we've got dustpan and brushes, sprays, wipes, yep. cloths and all that sort mm-hmm. of stuff. Sometimes it is a bit hard for us to take a vacuum cleaner in our yeah, truck. Yeah, of course. You probably have so much. We've got so much stuff there. <laughs> um, but, you know, we do have little handheld vacuum cleaners, but, you know, they're only good for so much. We, yeah. We try to sweep up as much as we can and, you know, the clients usually let us borrow their stuff they're pretty easy yeah Yeah. and tell me is it residential only that you do or do you do a bit of commercial work no we we do a bit of everything we've been um helping actually one of my other mates up um the boys went up there the other day to newcastle or a mcdonald's store Nice. just helping them do that we did the mcdonald's store at dubbo um same guy helping out um we've just subdivided up a building out in uh, milpera so yeah new switchboards and all that sort of stuff so you cover what area Sydney Metropolitan? We travel anywhere. Yeah. Like I said, we were up at Newcastle the other yeah. day. We've been in Dubbo. I mean, I've been to, you know, past Kangaroo Valley. Like, yeah, we all go everywhere. Awesome. I think that's good to, for people to know that they, if they're happy to, to pay for reliability, that they can seek somewhere that might yeah. be a, a bit of a distance from their place. And it's also like place. the courtesy you give the clients. Like, if you are on, like, you can't help traffic. Yes. So, you know, giving them a phone call to say, look, you know, we are running 10 minutes, 15 yeah. minutes behind. They do, yeah. you know, they do really like that sort of stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. So. I'd know. I'd appreciate that yeah. if someone was running late and they just gave me a buzz, shot me a text, something to let me know. Yeah, That's exactly right. reliability and a bit of service. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't exactly. really cost anything but maybe 15 cents on your text message. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or a call. <laughs> um, what are some tips and tricks to re- reducing your electricity bill? Oh. Because... If everyone always asks that and wants to know that. Yeah. So what can they do around the household? Look, there's a lot of energy schemes out there at the moment, the government, government incentives and all that sort of stuff. Um, solar's a big thing at the moment. So yes to solar? I'd say yes to solar. Yeah. I mean, the, the kickbacks, I mean, you know, the amount you have to outlay to the return, look, yeah, it probably mm-hmm. is a five-year investment sort of thing, but after your five years, you are getting those rebates yeah. back. Um, you know, energy efficient lighting. Um, there's there's a fair few to stuff that you can do. I yeah. mean, there's power monitoring. There's you know turning stuff off the power points if you want to go as far as that. I was going to say the turning off of the power points was dr- drummed into us. Same. Yeah. I know with my mum, she always likes to turn off the power points. Yeah. You know, and I think, oh, is that really making a difference? Yes. Is it? It is. I mean, it's not making a huge difference. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dad, I hope you're listening yeah. to this. <laughs> <laughs> but you know. Anything you can do. I mean, electricity prices are always going up. Same with everything else. So yeah. if you want to try reduce it as much as you can, you, you know, turn switch, switches off, power points off, yeah. all that sort is of stuff. Is it as simple as a phone call to even, you know, your business to have that chat with you? Is that what, do people ask that when they... Yeah, I mean, I can go as far as, I mean, I've got a thing called a data logger. Mm-hmm. So pretty much I've got a machine that I can put into your house and you leave it there for a week and what happens is it pretty much logs how much power your spikes all that sort of stuff and it gives me a full readout okay. so, so then so then pretty much from there I can then go all right assess your house see what can be changed yeah. upgraded updated yeah. all that sort of stuff and then I can put that logger back on and then I can give you another readout on how much power just by doing that you, you're actually saving Oh, I, wow. That is an awesome way to mm. reduce your electricity, but also see how much you consume. Yeah. Does yeah. it also give you a reading on time of day? Yeah, so it's a full 24 hour oh, schedule. Awesome. So 24 hours, I can leave it on for as you know, as long as you want. Yeah. Um, just, yeah, pretty much just gives you a readout on how much, you know, current draw, voltage, if you've got, you know, yeah. bad, bad voltage, fault loop. Like there's a lot of stuff that this um, bit of apparatus can do. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, it's very, um, yeah, it's, it's a good bit of equipment that's awesome well i've got a bit of a left field question <laughs> yeah. can i ask when you're going to woolies and you need to buy your globe what is a narrowed way to find the one that you need yes i don't know why it always seems to be a really <laughs> difficult expedition mm-hmm. when you've got all the globes and you've got phillips there and you've got some other brand there and all you need is one that says eg7 or something <laughs> 
is there something something a bit more simple that we can I'm pretty sure on the boxes I've actually got a picture of the type of the globe that it is like, <laughs> it's just a Mel Morley <laughs> thing I think, I think. <laughs> I've actually never been shopping for a globe, so I haven't had that issue. I usually make my brother, who's also an electrician, do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, next time you go to Woolies, I'd like to get yeah. a phone call from you and see how you went. No, to I'll be globe. calling Dan directly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, that's it. That's probably the easiest way to do it. That's great. Um, lastly, what is the expected time frames when booking in a job? Is there truth to job priority or how does it work? Look, I've got a, you know, I've got a couple of contracts that take priority over everything yep so actually i'm on call i got a call out at 8 30 last night and i didn't get home till 10 30. oh so you have a call out here. system yeah. oh wow yeah, so okay. it's you know there is stuff that you know you do put you prioritize over other things yeah um but you know it's you're sort of locked into a contract like you you know that's your sort of money maker like you you know you prioritize yep. that because you know that's going to be a solid income for you and stuff like that yeah. If someone calls me up and, you know, Joe Blow's like, oh, I need you to come do a PowerPoint for me today. Mm. But, you know, I've got other stuff booked in for clients that have been using me for many of years. I'm not yeah. going to prioritise them. Yeah, it's a loyalty. Yeah, yeah, exactly yeah, right. yeah. But, you know, I do try cater for everyone. Yeah. Um, if someone calls me out of the blue and says, I've got no power in my house, I can't use any of my kitchen or my hot water's gone or something like that, yeah, I, you know, six, seven o'clock at night, we will go out there. Yeah. No, so there is no job too big or small, however, but there is a loyalty to your there, bigger clients. A, well, not so much bigger clients, my clients that have been with me. Long term. Long, long term. term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's, you know, that's how I've always thought of my business running. Yeah. You know, you, you use us, we'll be as loyal as we can to you guys. Yeah, and that's the building strong relationships exactly with your right. clients, and that's important. With your call out system, is that you offer that to everybody? Like anyone can call and use you? Yep. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. Okay. So there's no sort of person that's like, oh, can you cut me out? And I won't. Yeah. You know, I don't discriminate do it. between <laughs> anyone yeah. or anything like that. It's just. <laughs> Just, yeah, give us a call and you know, oh, make it great. work Oh, that's great. Unreal. Thank you so much for joining yes. us. I do think that there is a lot of tradie reliability as long as you do your research yeah. and as long as you get the right advice from the right company. And I really am a big believer on support, supporting small business as well. 100%. So Illuminate Electrical really is, um, you've made me feel a lot more trusting yeah. in, in trades. Look, I just want to also say is like, you know, cheap is not always better. Yeah. yeah. When Definitely. it comes to trade, like we charge what we charge because, you know, the training that we have to do, yeah, the time that we have to put into, you know, TAFE and putting apprentices on and all that sort of stuff. Like, you know, it's just not, oh, this person charges this amount of money. There's, you know, a lot of back end stuff that goes with it. And yeah. if you want reliable tradies, you do have to pay, obviously, yeah. that little Quality. bit more. Yeah. Exactly. You don't want to be calling your tradie back in and said you didn't do the right no, job. Yeah. You exactly. much prefer to say, yep, here, this is what it is. You've outlined and itemised everything of how much it's yeah. going to cost or give take estimates. Yeah. I don't know if that's a thing. And then, you know, to save the call back and say, oh, you know. Also, you got to be, you got to feel comfortable for the people that you're getting into your house or yeah. business or something like that. So, yeah. But, you know, just wanted to say, yes. Cheap is not always better. Well, that's yeah. good. The tips and tricks yes. to the electrical. <laughs> that's amazing. And I think it's also really good to let people know trying to save money, like, you know, reducing their electricity bills, yep. going through COVID time, mm. um, who have lost their jobs. But it, it is amazing to say, you know, that what you guys do is really efficient, really effective yep. quality, and you appeal to all diverse um areas markets and for anyone so that's really cool mm. however i'm not going to finish it there with a little game yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> you mentioned earlier you said uh is it a singing game <laughs> what would you have done if it was no that's it well demi well demi's going to kick it off but basically it's called would you rather okay. so it's not that difficult you get five seconds yep to pick one of the two, pretty right. much. Okay. Simple. <laughs> All right, let's go. So, down lights or pendant lighting? Down lights. Warm or white LEDs? White. <laughs> <laughs> Illuminated pool or staircase? Pool. Meat pie or sausage roll? Sausage roll. <laughs> Early finishes or cash Saturdays? Cash Saturdays. <laughs> Bunnings or mitre 10? Bunnings. Apprentice or labour hire? Ooh. Apprentice. Oh. <laughs> Coffee o'clock or beer o'clock? Coffee. Van or ute? Van. 
Tradie fluoro or rough it with the trackies? Tradie fluoro. <laughs> More professional. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> Nothing worse than mate from just woke up out of yeah. bed and put his boots on. I had one guy that used to work for me and I kept telling him, like, I don't want you wearing trackies. <laughs> This why? Like, this why like, I put this question yeah, in here. First, first time impressions are a ma- like a big yeah, thing for us. Absolutely. If I, you know, if I've got a guy turning up in tracksuit pants, boots, and like a ripped shirt, that's just not yeah, not my business. Definitely you know, not. Definitely can't, can't not. Uh, well, thank you so much again um, for your time. And how do people get in contact with you? Um, so I've got my mobile number, which is zero four two two zero eight three zero eight four. Mm-hmm. Um, also, I've got my Facebook page, which okay. is Illuminate Electrical. Um, my website, which is um, you know, www.illuminateelectrical.com.au. Mm-hmm. Um, you can um, request a quote from that. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I've got Insta, which is just Illuminate underscore Elect. Yeah. Um, yeah. Awesome. Beautiful. We'll pop that on as well. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dan, yes, for your time. You. I really appreciate it for you coming out on your Saturday morning after a late yeah. job last night. <laughs> <laughs> and you still managed to look with a part wearing your shirt. Yes. So we appreciate yes, everything thank you. that you've done for today. And um, we'll hopefully have you back again on the show a little bit later. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Awesome. So much. I'm Demi. And I'm Mel. And this was The, the Mel, Mel and Demi, Demi Show. show.